What is up lads, it's CMG here. Right, I hope you're all ready for an extremely thorough Overwatch talk video today. Whether only a handful of people decide to watch this or not, we need to discuss something in this video that I have been meaning to talk about for a bit. And I was actually, funnily enough, planning to have a face cam to go with this and try to sit down, talk and remember everything. But I reckon it's going to be a lot better for me if I write this down and explain it. Because I don't think I'm going to do a good job at trying to explain everything in one take. Because it's going to take me forever. Now, before we go into great depth, I don't want to sound like Captain Obvious or someone who's been playing Overwatch for four years and only just realised this because I'm stupid or something. I just wanted to talk about my experiences. So, what I want to chat about is the idea of playing in a six stack and with voice chat versus simply just playing this game on your own with absolutely no voice chat. Now, don't get me wrong. Just because I'm doing this, it doesn't mean to say that I'm just going to go straight up and say I prefer voice chat now because I'd rather just get to know the people I'm talking to in voice chat. I mean, I still haven't gotten over that hurdle of talking to complete strangers and competitive or communicating because what if those same people start getting toxic in chat because things are going wrong and you know they start framing me for making mistakes? Yeah, exactly. But let's talk about this in some depth. Now then, the truth is, whenever I'm playing by myself, particularly in the arcade side of things, sometimes quick play if I could be bothered, whether I'm playing Mystery Heroes or Quick Play Classic or any of the other game modes in rotation, I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty toxic. In fact, you know what? I'm not pretty toxic. I'm extremely toxic. <laughs> now, right off the bat, you want to say something like, well, who the bloody hell would get toxic in the arcade, right? Nobody in their right mind would be toxic in the arcade. Nothing is at stake. You know, it's just players messing around. No one's going to try and capture objectives unless they want to. Not compared with QP and competitive anyway, but since I don't comp and I've kind of, you know, shied myself away from solo queue quick play recently, for one reason I'll explain in a bit, the next best thing to at least be competitive and not have voice chat flaming me is the arcade. So whatever I'm going to do in there, I'm going to take things seriously as if it were competitive, hence my toxicity. Now the other thing I tend to do, uh, as I was going to explain that I'm explain now, and this is a real confession, and I know I shouldn't do this, so please don't ban me, Jeff, is whenever I encounter a map I don't want to play on, pretty much all of the control maps. I do not like a control map. Or I encounter a game playing on defense, I leave the game. Yeah, my preferences have always been to attack points, either CP, payload, Hybrid, I like those games. Anything outside those brackets, I leave. <laughs> and, and this is frustrating to me, particularly when I've lost a few games on the bounce, and I want to go into that game quickly to, you know, to end some stupid streak and, you know, hopefully win. However, when I'm in a six stack, and I'm among friends, and we're playing together, and we know each other well enough, and we're on the same chat, this never happens. I'm calm, I'm fine, I'm laughing, I'm okay with everything. Everything is hunky-dory for me. It's so weird. Like, even if we go three, four f maps without winning a game, I'm completely fine. It's baffling. The thing is, I think this just goes to prove that playing together as a team and knowing who you're playing with, I mean, all this plays a key role in the enjoyment of Overwatch. And it just goes to prove that no matter how bad a session can get, no matter how bad the losing streak, the simple quote-unquote is, you win together and you lose together. And that's what it's all about. If you lose a few games, you can just laugh it off to your teammates and think, well, that was a pretty damn shitty game. We'll do better next time, lads. And then we end up having that better game. You move on, and the past is in the past. Compare this with playing on your own and getting no value and having teammates piss about doing nothing, and you're losing countless games through absolutely no fault of your own. You know, I've decided to make this video because I've seen for myself what it truly means to play in a six stack recently. And you know, guys like Stylos are on YouTube, have like drummed it into us saying, Overwatch is a better game if you're able to play in a six stack. And you know what? It all makes sense to me now. It all makes sense to a point that games sound, feel, and play better if you play this way. Here's an example. Look at how the team of Runaway of a few years ago in Overwatch Contenders, Korea, they were able to win back-to-back -back championships because all the players knew each other so well, not just as players, 
but as friends. And they went on to become the Vancouver Titans in Overwatch League. And they almost, almost, well they didn't win it, but they almost went the distance last year. Now, obviously, this of course was before all of that drama happened with them. I mean, go through all the social media to find out these players aren't with the Vancouver Titans anymore. We all know that the Vancouver Titans have split up. You know, they're, they're going through a bit of a rough time. Their organization has just treated them like crap. You know, you go, like I said, go to the social media and find out all the facts. But, you know, you, you get what I mean, right? Now, this is where I want to start mentioning a few people in this. Now, I want to thank all of my friends that have been playing Overwatch with me recently. Because without these guys, you guys know who you are watching this video. Now, I want to thank you guys for revitalizing my urge to play this. And to play this in a better way. Because I'll tell you something. If I was to continue playing solo queue in the arcade at this very, very juncture. Because I've been playing this for four years. And I know how this game works. I honestly swear to God, I, pr I would pretty much be so toxic to a point where I would just throw something out the window. <laughs> now, the reason why I've only waited until now to realise how good this is, is because, to be honest with you, I consider myself a bit of an anti-social person. You know, sometimes I go onto these voice chats. I find it a little bit difficult to chat sometimes. I mean, sometimes when, you know, people talk among themselves, I tend to be a little bit of a quiet guy. I don't know if anybody's noticed this, whenever I'm playing with you guys, I tend to be a little bit quiet, but then sometimes somebody says something, you know, I, I tend to either try and answer it in, in a good way, and I always like to say in a good way, because I'm, I'm a positive guy, I'm a, I'm a very nice guy, <laughs> believe me, I am. But, yeah, that's the whole thing, that's why I've been so, like, reluctant and very hesitant of been able to play with guys, because I'm very antisocial. And I'm sure that there are a lot of people out there, in the entire world, they've been in the same boat as me, and, you know, I guess this is kind of been more encouraging to do this for me because you know we all know what's been going on recently with the world we're all going through a bit of a really rough time as it is i'm sure you can understand the way things are right now it's i'm not going to explain what it is but you guys know uh, and you know we're all we're all in the same boat together and we're all just trying to get through it so the idea of playing together as friends in a six stack has really made me try to open my eyes and realize how important it really is to play together so for those people that i've been playing with Thank you so much for helping me open my eyes to this and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, if we can continue playing together, I can definitely combat this. I can definitely combat my idea of being antisocial and it's thanks to you guys. You guys know who you are in the chat, in the comments, on the Discord, on Twitter, you know. I just want to I just want to give you my absolute thanks to those guys. So yes, thank you very much for watching this video guys. If you did enjoy it, if you did enjoy me rambling, rambling and ranting, and raving and in a positive way, uh, then let me know in the comment section down below. Follow me on Twitter at chrismon 9 Check me out on all of my social medias. They will be in the description box down below. Make sure you click on that notification bell if you want to be updated with any videos that I intend to do in the future. And make sure that you go and check out my Discord server as well. There's a lot of guys on my Discord server. Um, it's a little bit inactive at the moment, but I'm sure that as time goes on, hopefully there'll be more guys uh, joining the Discord server, hopefully when they see this video and then they notice my Discord and then hopefully they'll go ahead and uh, check out my Discord server. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and then as always, have a great day, have a great life, be nice your fellow gamers because we are all human beings and make sure you wash your hands, make sure you stay safe, stay at home, look after your parents and all that good stuff. Make sure we don't make this world a lot worse than it is. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, I have been CMG and until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace!